Okay, guys, so I want to talk about this, this situation going on with the upcoming Star Wars, the Ray Solo film. Um, I, I hate calling it the Ray Solo film because it, it, it's the next chapter, right? It's the next, this is essentially, you know, episode 10. They're just not calling it episode 10. Um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, love Star Wars, but there's been a lot of outcry from fans about some of the comments that recent, the, the director for the, the movie, some recent comments that she made of the upcoming Star Wars movie. So I just kind of want to give different perspectives of it because I think some people are getting triggered and some people are kind of going all over the place. Um, Here's the problem I have, and I'm going to try to explain this in a very diplomatic way, not to insult anybody because that's not my intention. I want to come to this as a very, you know, calm, collective, you know, cool-headed, let's discuss this as adults sort of thing. I love Star Wars. I always give Star Wars the benefit of the doubt. And the thing is, Star Wars already had female directors. Ron Howard's daughter, Deborah Chow, Patty Jenkins was was originally going to do the Rogue Squadron movie, and there was no outcry from the fans, right? But for some reason, this director, I will not say her name because I can't pronounce it, so just out of respect, I don't want to mispronounce her name. Um, she she made some comments and people are kind of running with it. One of the comments is uh, she enjoys making men feel uncomfortable. Now, she wasn't talking about the Ray movie. This was a few years back. She was talking about another movie. Screen Rant already came out here and said she didn't say this about the Ray movie. She was actually referring to a previous movie and she had an interview and she's talking about she, she enjoys making men feel uncomfortable. Um, but what she did say is she's looking forward to bringing Star Wars from a female's perspective. And to me, I can see where a lot of people might get triggered by that. But I think people are kind of, you know, I think the people that are getting triggered by that are they're taking her comments from when she says she enjoys making people feel uncomfortable and then this and they're like, well, she obviously has this type of agenda behind her. She enjoys making people mad, enjoys making males mad, men mad. So you take that and you take her comments for Star Wars and people are, are concerned and I think they're rightfully concerned. Right with Disney's track record lately, I think people have the right to be concerned because for me, it looks like Lucasfilm and Disney and Marvel rather have agenda and social politics messaging rather than trying to put a good story. Who is Ray? How is Ray feeling after the events of Rise of the Skywalker? What is she looking to do? What's her like? That's the stuff we want to know. That's the stuff the director should come out and say, not hey. I'm looking forward to putting a female perspective on this movie. Females have always been uh, a huge center part of Star Wars. Some people might say that the female characters are more important to Star Wars than the male characters. I will go on the limb and say that Padme Amidala, played by Nally Portman, is a more important character than Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker. And the reason why I say that is because Padme and the fear of losing Padme is the reason why Anakin turned to the dark side to begin with, and we would not have the Star Wars saga if it wasn't for the fall of Anakin Skywalker, becoming Darth Vader, wiping out the Jedi, and then eventually, you know, getting redeemed by his son. If it wasn't for the importance of Queen Amidala, Sen Senator Amidala, Padme Amidala, all the names you want to call her, um, the Star Wars saga would not exist the way we know it, right? Leia was a very, very important character, especially within the Senate, the rebellion, building the new republic, the resistance. Leia was a very important character. Ray has, Ray has stepped into that, but Ray still needs more development. We need to mo know more about our character. So one will argue that the female characters, especially Queen Amidala, is one is more important than most of the male characters. Right. So I don't understand why people get outraged. And, and well, I understand why they get outraged, because you have a director who comes in and says, we're going to put this through a female perspective. OK, you're right. We may not have had a movie directed or written by a female director or writer, but there still has been very, very important representation of female characters within the Star Wars saga. Right. The problem is you get these directors come in and instead of saying, hey, I'm a huge fan. Can't wait to work on this project and find out who Ray is. No, the first thing that comes out of her mouth is female perspective, which automatically gets people to look into her background. And that's where they find stuff like, I enjoy making men feel uncomfortable, which was a quote from her previous films. 
on the interview that she did. But you put two and two together. And then you have people like John Rocha. And this is the type of stuff that just kind of bothers me. And I, I, I love John Rocha. You see, I left a comment on here. And I said, Rocha, I love you. But everyone, not everyone has a problem with her because she's a woman. We have a problem with her comments. It wouldn't be an issue if she just felt like it was going to be a good movie and all that stuff. But the fact that she has to put social politics in it is the problem. And this is what kind of John Rocha kind of said that I had a comment on. So I'm just going to play a, a few seconds of this. I swear to God, men... Reach down into your pants, find your fucking balls and your cock, and be okay. He's got to go so extreme, like find your balls, like oh, you're not a man if you don't like man. Come on, with it, we can take a woman directing a film. In has nothing to do that with that. Did we hear any backlash when Patty Jenkins was announced to do? the rogue squadron movie no guess what she's a woman right so it's like, like right there that's a counterpoint to his statement not only that we also had deborah chow and ron howard's daughter direct episodes and they were arguably some of the best episodes in the mandalorian i didn't like obi-wan had nothing to do with deborah chow had more to do with the writing of that series but this is crazy how we, they, they they just oh we, we're mad because there's a woman no it's what they say and it's the thought and the process and the social politics they put behind it star wars and lib we're all gonna fucking survive I swear to God, you guys want to come off like you're tough motherfuckers and you're a bunch of wusses. That, that is the biggest problem with social media and the landscape of, of, you know, just interacting on this platform, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's the biggest problem. If you have any, like, if you feel a certain way about something, you better just keep your mouth shut because you automatically get branded as something, right? If I, for an example, I did not like the casting of Little Mermaid. Okay, I've come out, I put out a video, I said, I've since then deleted the video, because I got branded a racist. Oh, Rob, you're a racist, because you didn't like the casting of Little Mermaid. I'm, I'm, I'm a racist. People don't understand how strong of a word that actually is. If you're going to brand someone that, make sure they're actually that before you do that, you know? I, I cannot like a casting that doesn't make me racist. If you go ask Danny, or DJ, or any of my friends, Anzo, and you ask them if I'm racist, right you ask them if i am racist you know and then see what they have to say see what some of these people have to say about the person before you you can you cannot dislike anything without being branded something nowadays when people had problems with the sequel trilogy oh you don't like it because raise the main character you're sexist and all this stuff and that's not the case we just want well written well directed stories that's all right deborah chow ron howard's daughter they did some fantastic, fantastic stuff within the Star Wars universe. Never once did I see any negative backlash going on on the internet. But when you have people like this guy, who I used to respect the hell out of, but he wants to virtual single this crap and make him and put himself on a pedestal like he's so much better than everybody. He's a real man because he's okay. With 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 uh with the statements of all this, like he's a real man. He's a man's man, guys. You cannot have any kind of constructive criticism without being branded something. W whatever happened to the day where we can have logical conversations with people, come up with good points, and just talk amongst each other as fans and say, you know what? I'm looking forward to the Ray movie. I don't necessarily like the director, what she had to say, but I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. I hope she's going to actually really put effort into it and not just do something that's going to end up like the 2016 Ghostbuster movie. You know, that that's the stuff. See, this is why we have fear of things because they take properties that we love and they butcher it like the 2016 Ghostbusters movie, which was all female propaganda bullcrap. You know, and that's why people are scared. That's why people are scared. We have lost all faith within Disney because of the social politics and the virtual signal that they, they be doing. And for people like John Roca to come out and automatically brand everybody, oh, you're insecure, you're not a man if you're not okay with it. No, you can be okay. You, you can be a man and not be okay with it. You can have concerns as a fan now i agree that there's some fans that take it to the umph degree and they go crazy and the, those people are just you know basement dwelling idiots you know the people that just go off the wall about it you know but i'm talking about people that can get and actually have an intelligent conversation anyway that is just 
words for thought guys i hope i came across very intelligent and i explained everything in a very very well manner um i want to appreciate everybody who actually watched this video if they smash the like button big shout out to my boy dj for crossing that thousand subscribers today um you know great on him he has great content and uh, i thank all of you guys for watching take it easy guys